Alright, so let's go to the Fontana di Trevi. Maybe throw a coin into the fountain and make a lovely wish or something. I think it's good luck. <laughs> Go on, Mr. L, would you like to tell us a little bit about where we are? Well, where are we? We're the, we're the Palatine Hill. Palatine Hill, I can't say words. I think we're approaching the Roman Forum now. This was the center of ancient Roman power in the ancient world. Center of ancient Roman power? Pretty amazing, really. It's a bit of an understatement. A couple of thousand years old, whatever. Could the Emperor have ever predicted that 2,000 years in the future uh, peasants from an as yet undiscovered land would be wandering through his palace? This was uh, Augustus's pad. Yeah. This is the lower peristyle of it. Mm. Whatever a peristyle is. That looks like it goes inside, underground. How epic must this have all been when it was new? Really though, really? Oh, what's with you and like filling your bo bottle up from strange places? Oh, that was over three hours I think we walked around. Pretty big. We're just wandering around until we can find like a big machine and food and just, you know, there's no shortage of amazing <laughs> Beautiful shit to look at. Thanks. I look like total garbage. We decided that we would take dinner at the first place we found that we could sit down that sold pizza and wasn't like too expensive or too shit. Vodka spaghetti? Wet? Because Mr. L ordered such a big beer, he just assumed that we were going to share it. That's my wine <laughs> in a jug. <laughs> Salmon bruschetta? Salmon and olive oil. It's totally healthy. Lovely, thanks very much. That was really fast. That looks pretty good. That looks really yummy. Bon appetito. It's like dark chocolate. Oh, it's so thick. It's like eating a fluffy uh, energy chocolate bar. It's good. It is like eating a fluffy energy chocolate bar. I have a tiramisu in a jar. Oh. It is an orange tiramisu. After this, we're going to go look for the. Um, Cat sanctuary. There's a cat. There's a bunch of cats that like hang out in a bunch of ancient ruins. So we're gonna see if we can find some cats. Holy shit! Just walked out of a street. Find this. These pillars are huge. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. We just realised this building is the Pantheon, which would explain its majesty and enormousness. Not a bad thing to stumble on. filming with my phone now because my camera died. We just got coffee flavored. But I got rose, mint, and uh, cream caramel. It really tastes like roses. That's delicious. Oh, look, look. Huh? Look. Hey! So these ruins are full of um, random cats. There's another one. 
Yeah, it's injured. Injured? Someone said at first you don't really notice them, but the more you look, you just start seeing them everywhere. So this is where Julius Caesar was killed. So it's now a sanctuary for feral cats. Oh. I see another one. Here's one. It's been like that with rabbits in Central Otago. You, you notice one rabbit in a field and suddenly you realize there are 50 of them. <laughs> this is not the best thing ever. Just like ancient Roman ruins with lots of feral cats living in them.